My family had just moved here from Virginia the previous year and just could not get over the amount of produce that was grown here in the area. And um, I remember thinking, I wonder if what they do with all this. That led me to call Second Harvest um, on one morning and uh, Kathy Kilgore, who was the um, executive director at the time picked up the phone and I told her I was looking to join. Wanted to know if there was a gleaning organization in the area that I could join. And at that point there was silence on the other end of the phone. And she said, oh my gosh, we've been looking for someone like you. We've actually been praying for someone like you. Over the next month, uh, God opened so many doors and um, brought on a farmer, Gary Middleton, who saw an article in the paper and said, I want to be a part of this. I thought, oh my gosh, here's a perfect fit for me. I've already been doing this. And so this is a uh, Christ-centered organization that I could com completely wrap my arms around. It's been uh, very rewarding to watch the, the people that have become involved in this uh, organization over the course of the years. Uh, we started out with a group from primarily from the West Side Church. I give them a lot of credit. They were just great volunteers and, and embraced this uh, concept right from the get-go. And so we started out with groups of 20 and 30 people and it wasn't a matter of one or two years and we had 100 people at this orchard. I have been volunteering with Fields of Grace for the last 10 years. I have two children an 11-year-old and a 15-year-old, and we started gleaning when my youngest was four. And the very first time we took them out to Middleton Orchards in Eltopia, my youngest saw cows on the side of the road and asked me what those were. And I'm like, I'm child, those are cows. And she looks at me, she goes, wow, I had no idea they were so big. And that's when I knew we needed to do more of this and we needed to get out in nature and experience uh, what God has provided for us. So. A few years ago, both my husband and I were unemployed and we had no idea how we were gonna provide for our family, but we still went out, we gleaned, and we totally understood the impact that Fields of Grace has on the community. I encourage people to, uh, to always remember that you could be that person. <laughs>